there. Welcome back to Dear Cyber Advice Talk Show. Today's topic is not all men want younger women. Now, this is a very, very common conversation that I have when I go out just about anywhere. The minute everybody knows what I do, where I do relationships and dating, that's the first thing that women talk about. And the first thing that men say is that women are high maintenance and they only want a man with a big fat wallet. So these are two conversations that are destroying dating today because people have got it stuck in their minds that that's all men want, that's all women want. So what's happening, people aren't dating. They're not, well, if they do, they date one one time and then that's it. They don't see the person again because they think, oh, they just want younger women. They, they want money. They want this. They want that. Everybody's got this negative sort of attitude about what is going on out there. But what's really going on out there is a lot of people are becoming a little insecure about dating. They're almost looking for an excuse to sabotage something from happening. And I don't know what's going on here, why this has become such a big problem. But what's happening is that people are not getting further along and meeting somebody because they say these things so quickly early on in, in when they're meeting someone or even when they're looking through uh, dating sites and things like that that they don't make it any further because they say, what's the point? Nobody's gonna wanna, wanna meet me anyway because maybe I'm over 40 or maybe I don't make enough money for the girl and she only wants a guy with a nice car. Gotta deprogram yourself into thinking a different way. Not all people want all the same things. It just isn't the way it is. The minute that you take this out of your thought process you're going to change up who you meet, who you date, and you are actually going to maybe get out and date because you've got yourself so stuck in this place that you're not even going out anymore because you keep thinking, what's the point? But there's a huge point. There's a big point in going out and dating because every time you date, you come back, whether it worked out or, or didn't work out, you've got a new experience under your belt, okay? I don't mean literally under your belt, but you've got a new experience that you dealt with. Now, that could bring you closer to meeting somebody of a better sort of situation. Maybe you found out what you didn't really want to want, or maybe it taught you something about what to look for more on the dating site, reading a profile better, reading out those red flags, all these things that add up to understanding what dating is all about. So I really want you to promise me that the next time those words come out of your mouth, I'm talking men and women here, that you stop yourself. Because when you stop saying those things, I promise you your dating life is going to get better. Because you're going to think on a different level that why can't I meet somebody that's great? How many, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you how many guys I know that are, you know, 40 and 50 and up that don't want to meet a younger woman, but they want to meet somebody that's got energy. They want to meet somebody who likes doing things, likes going out. And that's all you have to do. And, and same for women. They don't, not all women that want a guy with money. I mean, obviously money makes the world go round in a lot of people's mindsets, but it's not all they want. They want a, a person that treats them well. They want somebody to love them and they want to love somebody back. So change up these prehistoric freaking dinosaur ways of thinking and let's start putting ourselves out there in a way better light. Promise me you'll do that because it's driving me crazy. It's one of the things I get most on all my advice columns is everybody talking about what's not happening. Let's start getting something to happen. Okay, I'm done. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments below this video. I want to hear, has it changed for you? Did you change your mindset? And things are now better.